In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the side rear view mirror on this Mazda 6. Let's get started. At the top of the corner of the door here, you'll see this panel. You don't wanna pry this off. Usually you can do it by hand, but if you have to use something, use a plastic trim tool. You don't wanna scratch the paint. Just pry it straight out. It has a couple clips on the backside. Behind the door handle, you'll see this plastic cover. You're gonna to wanna to stick a pick in there or something that's small enough to pry this out, but without causing any damage. Once you remove this cover, you'll see a Phillips head screw. Remove that. Take that out. In the grab handle here, there's a little pocket with a pick or something that'll get behind this little tray. Remove it, and that'll expose another Phillips head screw. Remove this as well. At this point, there's no more hardware holding this door panel on, so you just have to pry all the clips out that go around the door. Hold this, hold the, uh, the door, and pry with your hand from the, uh, where the speaker area is. There we go. Sometimes it's a little tough, especially if this is the first time that this door is being removed. There we go. Once all the clips are loose, pull straight out. However, don't go too far because the door handle cables as well as the wires for all of this are still attached. You can pop the door handle cables out or if you just pry like this, the door handle itself will pop out of place. That's fine, that's normal. I'm gonna do this. That way I don't have to deal with the cables. On the master window switch and mirror switch, there are two main connectors. Press on the tab and pull them out. You may or may not need the help of a pocket screwdriver for this clip. What I did with it is I just pushed a little bit extra on this locking tab here. Now you can pull the door panel away. Let's first unplug the connectors for the mirror. There's a tab down here that you can squeeze and pull these off. And then if you follow the wire, you'll see it goes behind this plastic piece. When you pry this off, it has a couple tabs in here that you have to press either with a screwdriver, but preferably with a trim tool, something plastic that won't scratch the door. Once you push these in, you should be able to remove this. Now to unbolt the mirror, you're gonna to have to go through this opening. You'll see three mounting nuts. The wire loops around in there, but that's all right. We'll deal with that in a minute. For now, we just have to unbolt it. They're 10 millimeter in size. Try not to drop them in the door, so either stick your hand in there and pull them out or use a magnet. Hold the mirror. Once the hardware is unbolted, you actually can let go of the mirror because there's, on the original mirror, there's a plastic clip holding it on, so it's safe. The wire, you'll notice, actually goes in and then back up and out through the outside of the door. The reason it does that is because the window goes here, so if it went straight through, the window would cut it, so it goes around the window track on that side. Sometimes it's a little bit lodged in between the window track and a bracket that's in there, so what you have to do is push this wire in, feed it in, and then pull it out the other side to get it dislodged from behind there. Okay. All right, got it. At this point, we can get some needle nose pliers, pinch that little tab, and pull the mirror through. Once you squeeze it, pull it through, get that wire out, and there's your mirror. When reinstalling the new mirror, start by feeding the wire through. Don't worry about the routing of the wire yet, just pull it through. We can deal with that once the mirror is in, and then your new mirror may or may not have that plastic clip on. If it does, that's great. Slide it through, that'll lock it in temporarily for you. If not, you're gonna have to have the hardware ready once it's lined up and through. Mine has the clip on it still, so I'm going to use that as my securing point temporarily. I'm gonna use my magnet to start on the mounting nuts. There we go, as long as they thread on one or two turns, you're good to let go and then obviously put in your tool. Now snug them up. You wanna give them about an eighth of a turn after they bottom out, a quarter at most. What you're looking for is to squish the gasket that's on the outside so it can create a nice watertight seal. Once that's done, route the wire, 
I'm going to route it behind the window track here. If you look at an angle through the hole, you'll see it and it's important that the wire is behind it. Otherwise, like I said earlier, the window will catch it and basically rip it off. This part will be a little bit more challenging because you can't really reach it very well and can't see much either. As you get it behind there, pull it through. You might have to push that wire and basically feed it along as you pull it. There it is. Once that's done, take the connectors, plug them in. If your vehicle only has one connector, plug in the one. If yours has two, plug in both. They can only plug in one way, so if it doesn't line up, flip it over. Let's reinstall this cover. This piece of foam has to go right through the cutout where the mirror wire goes through. Make sure the two clips click in place. Let's reinstall the door panel. I'm going to start by reconnecting the wiring harness. Make sure you connect both connectors and they both click. You can't interchange them, so they can't plug into the uh, wrong plug. Okay, they both clicked, so at this point I'm going to bring the door closer and install the door handle assembly, which I removed as a unit. Make sure that clicks back in place. And now, bring the door panel in and line it up. You have to basically line up this large pin at the top here with that hole, and then all of the push clips all have to line up at the same time. It'll basically just fall into place once it's on. And at this point, once you're sure that it's on, tap it in place. Install the screw that goes down into the uh, grab handle. It's threading into plastic, so once it tightens up, that's it. Don't give it any extra. Put on this little cover, make sure it goes on the right way. Don't forget about the screw up at the door handle. Tighten this up and the plastic cover that hides it. Make sure this clicks. There we go. As long as it doesn't fall off, you're good to go. And this little panel up here has two push clips. Once that's on, there you have it. Job is complete. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.